Well, starter went out on me. It won't turn hardly at all. It's about as much as you can get. Uh, these Polaris starters, I got this O-ring compression fitting. And starter is literally underneath this carburetor. Uh, got a bolt there and a bolt on down. Uh, but on that compression fitting, slides right in there and you gotta kinda put a screwdriver in there and just remember that's aluminum and just pop it out. But this thing was it really was a pain in the butt. Uh, it took about four hours to get it all put back, you know, taken out and put back in. Uh, crow's foot's going to be one of your best friends on that bottom back bolt. But, uh, doing a little bit of service work to it. Just got the oil changed in it. Uh, this carburetor is a little finicky um, until it warms up. So the choke lever is uh, it's got some issues with it. Uh, I did put a new spark plug in it, got the oil changed in it, but I had some, I got some new headlights that I'm going to put in this afternoon. Uh, there's LEDs. Those headlights work, but I mean, they're not very bright at all. Yeah, she's uh, been getting used, so she's a little dirty. Kind of what I did today. Uh, spent a couple hours last night and then a couple more hours this morning and got this done. But she's running. Took it out for a little ride and put some gas in it. This thing had some uh, pretty old gas. This thing, it sat for like a year in a garage. So it still has a mixture of some of the old gas. Uh, I got some non ethanol 93 for it today and went ahead and filled it up. Had about a half a tank in it. Just odd little little things you gotta do, you know. Maintenance. I've never really worked on one of these very much, so it's all learning for me. But not too bad. Um, worked on equipment that that starter. I will say I've worked on equipment like wet starters and stuff like that that would make you pull your hair out sometimes. And that thing was just as bad. That's what I did today. Take care, boys. Have a good one.